How is PCOS diagnosed? I get asked this all the time. Take a look at some of my TikTok videos that prompted this discussion. Many have had symptoms overlooked by their healthcare provider. I understand how frustrating this disease is. I see patients all the time that have been dismissed or overlooked or told that they're experiencing is normal or even worse comments. And when I dig down to their root cause of their symptoms, it is PCOS. We know that symptoms vary greatly from each woman and this disease just simply doesn't look the same in everybody. We also know that making the diagnosis of PCOS is a judgment call on the medical provider and studies actually show that healthcare professionals misunderstand PCOS. This leads to symptoms being missed that would indicate a diagnosis should be made. So if you're a healthcare professional listening, listen up and stay tuned today. I want to acknowledge once again the frustration of you as a patient. I've included in today's video my free PCOS handout. I want you to have access to information on labs, lifestyle, and some of my favorite supplements I share with my patients all the time. The mental health aspect of this disease carries a big burden on the patient, and we know that anxiety and depression often go hand in hand with the disease of PCOS. So I want to acknowledge that right off the bat, please make sure that you are taking care of you and seeking the proper mental health treatment that you deserve. There is no single one test for PCOS. It is looking at you as a patient, your symptoms, and pairing it with certain available labs and ultrasound imaging that's available to us. It's like putting together pieces of a puzzle to, which can make it challenging for some healthcare providers. I encourage you to ask for the lab tests. Some of these that I run on my patient include free and total testosterone, 17 hydroxy, prolactin, TSH, antibody TPO, along with your T3, T4s, fasting glucose, lipids, and more. Once again, take a peek at my free download I included today. Some will further indicate that you need an ultrasound or there was nothing found on your ultrasound. You do not need an ultrasound to diagnose PCOS. Take a look at you as a patient and do you have symptoms of elevated androgen levels, which are your male hormone levels that are elevated? Let's take a look at what some textbooks share in regards to this disease. If I open up my medical textbook from when I was in school, it's noted that the purpose of doing lab draws is primarily to exclude other serious disorders, not necessarily to say you have PCOS. In patients with clear signs of hyperandrogen, which is our elevated male hormone levels, acne, hair growth, not having a period, you're not ovulating, and more is enough alone to say, I think my patient might have PCOS. This is a lifelong disease that we want to help control because if we don't control PCOS early on, it can lead to other serious diseases like diabetes, high blood pressure, cardiac disease, and more. When I move into my second textbook and we talk about signs of PCOS, it shows that we need evidence of clinical symptoms. Uh, we can, of course, once again, as it states in this textbook, Pair it with lab draws to look for ovarian dysfunction, signs that you're not ovulating, and once again, exclude other conditions that may be contributing to the symptoms that you're having. There are long-term complications, as I just said, that go along with missing the diagnosis of PCOS, which is why I'm so passionate about helping women get to this disorder. Once again, this includes cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, obesity, sleep apnea, uterine cancers, and let's not forget the psychological mental health that goes along with this disease being missed. So if you're a female and you're feeling frustrated, you have not been heard by your healthcare provider, I really want to encourage you to seek out a new healthcare provider. Create a healthcare team. I empower my patients all the time to build a team. Maybe it's not just your OBGYN. Maybe it's a functional practitioner. Maybe it's somebody who specializes in PCOS that's a healthcare provider. Perhaps it's a naturopathic provider and more. Those are just some ideas. Don't be afraid to create your own healthcare team.
If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit like, subscribe to my channel where you're gonna get content on women's health and fertility every week, and share this with a female in your life who you feel might benefit from learning more and being empowered about their healthcare.